Hey, Tom Hagner here. I want to talk about using home equity wisely. You know, number step number seven in my seven steps to retirement security and don't worry retire is using home equity wisely. And there's really three ways to use your home equity wisely. Number one, you can sell your house and downsize and move to beautiful, sunny Arizona. That's where I live. But, but here's what I want you to know. If you're single, you can capture up to $250,000 tax-free in capital gains. If you're married, you can capture up to $500,000 tax-free in capital gains. And you can do that every two years. That's what's in the tax law. So, so think about that. You can take a loan against the equity or you can do a reverse mortgage. Now, um, let me tell you where I come down on reverse mortgages, both uh, in my books and my TV show. I say this, I'm not for reverse mortgages, but I'm not against reverse mortgages. They're a tool that you can use in retirement. But what I, what I stress to people is number one, you should be very, very careful. And number two, you should work with a reverse mortgage expert. But having said that, what I will tell you is if you Google it and, and start researching, you're going to read many positive articles on reverse mortgages written by very um, credible people like the American College, Dr. Wade Fow, Jamie Hopkins, who writes for Forbes magazine, Mary Beth Franklin, Don Graves. Um, so do some research on that. You might want to read step seven in, in uh, Don't Worry, Retire Happy. But, you know, just be careful and, and, and work with a reverse mortgage expert. But there's, there's, many, um, there's many ways that you can use a reverse mortgage. I mean, you can use it, you know, as a final, if you need, you know, as a final thing to, to get income so they never run out of money. But many of these people now are saying you should use a reverse mortgage earlier in retirement. So before you do anything, do some research on it. Um, there's also a buffer strategy. You know, some people don't like annuities, okay? They like investments. Well, the problem with investments are that markets go up, but they also go down. And if the market's going down and you're taking money out of a down market, that can wipe you out. It's called sequence of returns risk. People don't understand it. Um, they think average returns matter, which they do when you're saving and investing. But once you retire, average returns mean nothing. I mean, you can average 10% a year for 22 years, only take out 5% and go dead broke, just like that. People don't get it. Because if you're taking money out when the market goes down, all the money you're taking out never grows back when it goes back up. And then it goes down again, you're taking out more and more and more and it never grows back. And so, um, you know, sequence of returns risk is a huge risk. So what's one of the strategies? Well, you can have an investment account and as long as the investment account went up, you can make a withdrawal. But any, any year that the investment account went down, you take the money out of a buffer asset. It could be your whole life insurance policy. It could be a reverse mortgage. It could be your CD or bank account. You want to take it out of something that isn't going down in value. So that's another strategy uh, for the reverse mortgage. But again, for many people, their house is one of the largest assets they have. There are several ways you can use that home equity wisely. So really think about it before you do any of these steps.